Hi guys, how you doing? Saturday afternoon, man. Having a good day so far. But you know, I just popped into a pizza shop just to get, you know, a cheat meal. I'll show you what I've got. It's a medium sized pizza, you know, about five or six toppings, man. It's one of my favorites anyway. Olivia pizza, you know. Eight slices, man. Need it for a big boy, innit? Okay. Yeah, man, well, enough about cheating. What I'm gonna show you next is, you know, completely opposite. I'm gonna show you about fat burners. Okay, coming up. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Chisel. Um, How was your day? Well, so far, um, my day's been good. I'm gonna show you about, like, fat burners now. And I'm gonna show you the top five in 2020. But is it worth using? Is it worth the price? Well, that's what we're gonna find out. Coming up next. Okay guys, get ready. It's your top five fat burners in the UK, 2020. Okay, we kick off with first one. It's gonna be instant knockout. I mean, it's rated a 10 out of 10. So I'll just go for it quickly, that's number one. Number two is Hunter Burn. That's 9.5 out of 10. And number three is Hourglass. Okay, their rating is 9 out of 10. Got for Lean Burn, that's 8.5 out of 10. And again, number five, Performance Lab Sport. That's 8 out of 10. So you've got the full reviews here. Okay, we're gonna go through them individually now. Okay, starting off with number one, it's instant knockout. And obviously, you know, it's got so the ingredients in it, green tea, cayenne pepper, you know, uh, vitamins, glucomanine, you know, vitamin B6, B12, you know, usual stuff. So it's nothing special. Okay, and so you the cons and the pros. I'm not gonna go through too much, you know, just briefly. You get buy three bottles, get one free. <laughs> Not bad. But price thirty five pound. Okay, next up number two is Hunter Burn. Okay. Well what's in it? Well usual stuff, I think it's about five different ingredients. But you know, it's usual just caffeine and stuff like that, or different blends of caffeine anyway. So I won't even go too much into that. Just wanna know the price really. Price, £55. Well, that's very expensive for a fat burner. Wow. Um, the third one, which is Hourglass. Okay, let's see what they have to say. Yeah, usual vitamin B6, B2 and B12. And it's got chromium in it, I guess. You know, cayenne pepper. So you all the same, same uh, ingredients. Nothing special. Glucomanine, that's a new one I haven't heard of because I haven't looked at fat burners for a long time. So, again, same pros and cons. Okay, we just want to know what the price is. £30, that's reasonable. Okay, up next, number four, that's lean bean. Okay, let's see what ingredients they have. If there's anything special, same stuff. Garnicia, Cambogia. Okay, glucomenine again, green coffee as usual, cayenne pepper, black pepper extract, periperine. Same ingredients that was like 15 years ago, maybe a couple new ones. And same pros and cons, suitable for men and women, no stimulants in it this, this time. Uh, Alright, fair enough. There is some stimulant free, okay, it's the price we're worried about, that's £39, the price. Okay. And last one is Performance Lab. Okay, let's see what ingredients they have. Not heard of any of these fat burners. Same, cayenne pepper, black extract, black pepper. You know, better hydroxy, better methyl, biterite. Oh, HMB in it. Well, HMB is actually a muscle builder. Don't know what it's doing in the fat burner. It's like 20 years ago. <laughs> so I mean, it's nothing is improved in these fat burners really, in my opinion. Okay, and the price is £50. It's expensive, that's probably because it's got HMB in it. That shouldn't be in there, it's not a fat burner. Probably to make you hold muscle. Okay, let's sum everything up and, and see what we think about these fat burners. 
Okay, yes, just a quick summary of what the fat burners that we was looking at. Well, I remember when I used to use fat burners, you know, when I used to do the natural shows um, way back, like maybe like 15 years ago. And so we always used to like do research and look at products, look at fat burners and stuff, look at the ingredients, you know, do some research on the ingredients that we find in the products. And to me, I looked at the products today with all you guys and not much science has changed. The ingredients are the same, just different blends of caffeine, maybe a few other products they put in there, but you know, nothing special. So it's practically the same. So I think to me, I think the fat burners, they're not that great. Just different blends of caffeine, you know, just put in, just put in there. There's no science behind them and they're not great. So, you know, it's cost a lot of money. You saw some of them was like 55 pound. I'm like, where are they going with that? You know, so um, yeah, to me, I think it's a waste of money. You're better off just <laughs> drinking a cup of coffee or something, you know, before you do your cardio. So, <laughs> you know, I don't see much, much benefit from that. But, you know, if you've got money to waste, then, you know, throw it at them. Supper companies, they don't care. They're making money from you, so they don't care. But anyway, uh, more coming up in part two, you know, where I talk a bit more about, you know, fat burners and stuff and the illegal fat burners. Okay, guys, until then, I'll see you later.